al anbiya the Prophets. With the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Ever-Merciful. There has drawn nigh for the people the day of their reckoning, yet they turn away in heedlessness. No new reminder comes to them from their Lord, but they listen to it in a playful mood. While their minds are inattentive, those of them who have transgressed the limits keep their counsels against the prophet of their time secret and say, He is only a human being like yourselves. Will you be seduced by his skillful eloquence while you see and know? On the contrary, the prophet's way is different. He replied, My Lord knows what is conceived in the heaven and the earth, and he is the all-hearing and all-knowing. Nay, they say, this Qur'an is no revelation, but a jumble of confused dreams. Rather, he has forged it himself. He is a poet. If it is not so, let him then bring us some sign of destruction, just as the former prophets were sent with. Whereas before them no people of a township whom we destroyed had ever believed, would they then believe to escape destruction? Prophet, we sent none as messengers before you, but they were men to whom we made our revelations. Therefore, O disbelievers, ask the followers of the reminder, if you do not know this. Nor did we give them such bodies as could go without food, neither were they people given unusually long lives to enjoy. We sent our revelations to them, then we fulfilled the promise we made to them so that we delivered them and those whom we pleased beside them, and we destroyed the transgressors. People, now we have revealed to you a highly perfect book, wherein there is a provision for your eminence. Why do you not then make use of your understanding? And we have utterly destroyed many a wrongdoing people of townships, and we raised up another people after them. No sooner did they perceive our punishment than they began to flee from it. Thereupon we called out to them, Flee not, but return to that state of luxury in which you were provided comforts and to your dwellings so that you might be called to account for your conduct. They said, Woe to us! We were indeed wrongdoers. Then they continued repeating this cry of theirs till we made them like a mown-down field and extinguished their spark of life, leaving them like smoldering ashes. We did not create the heaven and the earth and all that is between the two in idle sport. If we had meant to make something vain and idle, we would surely have made it so on our part, but we were by no means to do such a thing. Nay, we hurl the truth at falsehood so that it knocks out its brains and defeats it, and behold, it vanishes, and you deserve to be punished with Jehenna for what you ascribe to God. And whosoever is in the heavens and the earth belongs to him, and those who are close to him do not disdain to worship him, nor do they ever grow weary to serve him. They glorify him night and day, and they flag not. And yet some people have chosen false gods from the earth, who are supposed to raise the dead to life. Had there been in them, the heaven and the earth, other gods besides Allah, then surely both would have gone to ruin because of chaos, disorder, and confusion. Glorified then be Allah the Lord of the throne of power, far above what they attribute to him. He cannot be questioned for what he does, because the cause for an objection does not exist, whereas all others will be questioned for what they do. Or have they chosen other gods beside him? Say, bring forth your clear proof if there are other gods. This unity of God is the message of those who are with me and the message of those who have gone before me.
The only thing is that most of them have no knowledge of the truth, and that is why they have turned away from it. And we sent no messenger before you, but we revealed to him, saying, The truth is that there is no other, cannot be, and will never be one worthy of worship but me. Therefore worship me alone. And they say, The most gracious God has taken to himself a son. Holy is he, rather they whom they so designate are only his honored servants. They do not precede him in speech, and they only carry out his biddings. He knows all that is before them, their future, and all that is behind them, their past. And they do not intercede except for the person for whom he is pleased to accord permission. And they are full of awe and reverence out of his majesty. Should any one of them say, I am a deity apart from him, him we will recompense with Jehenna, for that is how we recompense the unjust. Do those who disbelieve not see that the heavens and the earth were once one mass all closed up? Then we rent them apart. And it is from water that we created all life. Will they not believe in the face of all this? And we have made firm mountains on the earth, so that they may be a source of benefit and provision for the people, and lest it should quake with them. And we made on it wide pathways, that people may find right guidance to reach the goal. And we have made the heaven a roof, well protected. Still they turn away, paying no heed to its heavenly signs. And it is he who created the night and the day, the sun and the moon. They are all gliding along smoothly in their respective orbits. And we have not assigned to any human being before you an unusually prolonged life. If you should die, then shall they live unusually long while here. Every soul is bound to taste of death, and we prove worthy of you now with evil, now with good, by way of trial. And you shall be made to return to us. And when those who disbelieve see you, they hold you for a mere trifle, and say, is this the fellow who speaks ill of your gods? While it is they themselves who deny disdainfully the great eminence of the most gracious God. A human being is hasty by nature. I will certainly show you, O people, my signs, but do not ask me to hasten them before their appointed time. And they say, when will this promise of punishment be fulfilled? Let us know if you are truthful. How good it would be if those who disbelieve could know the time when they will not be able to ward off the flames of the fire from their faces nor from their backs, and they shall not be helped. Nay, it, the punishment, shall come upon them unawares so that it will confound them completely, and they will not be able to avert it, and no respite shall be given them. And certainly messengers have also been treated as mere trifles, even before you with the result that those who made light of them were caught by the very thing they held as vain and unimportant. Say, who can protect you by night and in the daytime from the punishment of the most gracious God? But rather, thank him, they are truly averse to proclaiming the greatness of their Lord. Or do they have gods that can defend them against us? They are not able to help even themselves, nor shall they receive any help from us. The thing is that we provided those and their fathers with the good things of this world, until a long period of enjoyment passed over them, and now they are steeped in negligence. But do they not see that we are invading the land of disbelief 
and are gradually reducing it from its outlying borders, can they even then be the victors? Say, it is on the basis of divine revelation that I warn you, but the spiritually deaf do not hear the call when they are warned. And if the slightest punishment of your Lord befalls them, they would surely cry out, Oh, woe to us! We were indeed unjust. And we shall set up scales of justice to weigh their deeds on the day of resurrection, so that no soul shall be done the least injustice. And even if it, the deeds of a person, were as little as the weight of a grain of mustard seed, we would bring it forth for accurate account. And sufficient are we as reckoners. And we gave Moses and Aaron the arguments, telling the right from the wrong, and a light and a reminder for those who guard against evil. Those who stand in awe of their Lord, even in their heart of hearts, and who dread the hour of judgment. And like those earlier scriptures, we have revealed this Qur'an as a reminder full of bliss. Will you then be the rejectors of this perfect book? And we gave Abraham his rectitude before this. We knew him fully well for his personal qualities. Recall the time when he said to his sire and his people, What good are these images to which you sit down to worship with so much devotion? They said, We found our fathers worshipping them. He said, Surely you yourselves and your fathers have been plainly mistaken. They said, Is it really the truth that you have brought us? Or are you of those playing a joke on us? Abraham said, I am playing no jokes on you. Your true Lord is the only Lord of the heavens and the earth, who originated them, and I am of those who bear witness to the truth of this before you. And by Allah, I will indeed plan a stern plan against your idols after you have left turning your backs. So he smashed them all into pieces except one, their chief idol that they might return to it for inquiry, as he planned. When they saw their idols broken, they said, Who has done this to our gods? He who has done this must be of the wrongdoers indeed. Some of the people said, We heard a young man speaking ill of them. He is called Abraham. They said, Then bring him before the eyes of the people, so that we may bear witness against him. When he was brought, they said, O oh Abraham, is it you who did this to our gods? Abraham said, Well, of course someone has done it. Here is their chief. So better ask him and them if they can speak. Then they turned to their leaders and to one another and said, you yourselves are surely in the wrong. Then they were made to hang down their heads in shame, and said to Abraham, Indeed, you know very well that these idols do not speak. Abraham said, Do you then worship apart from Allah, the things which can do no good to you, nor can do harm to those of you who are their destroyers? Shame on you! and on the things you worship apart from Allah, will you not then make use of your understanding? They said among themselves, Burn him and help your gods, if at all you would do anything against Abraham. We said, O fire, be you a means of coolness and safety for Abraham. They intended a mistreatment of him, but we made them the worst losers and they could not carry out their evil design of burning him. And we delivered him, and Lot as well, and brought them towards the land of Canaan, which we had blessed for the peoples. And we gave him Isaac out of our bounty, and Jacob an additional bounty, as a grandson. We made all of them righteous.
and we appointed them leaders who guide people by our command, and we revealed to them the doing of good deeds and the observing of prayer and the giving of alms, and they were all worshippers of us alone. And we showed our favors to Lot. We gave him wisdom and knowledge, and delivered him from the people of the town who indulged in abominable practices. They were indeed wicked and lawless people. And we admitted him to our mercy, for he was surely of the righteous. And we showed our favors to Noah. Behold, he called to us in the days bygone. So we heard his prayer and delivered him and his companions from the great distressful calamity. And we helped him against the people who cried lies to our messages. They were surely people given to evil, so we drowned them all. And we bestowed our favors on David and Solomon. Behold, they gave their respective judgment in the disputed matter about a certain crop when the sheep of a certain people strayed into it at night. And we were bearers of witness to the judgment they gave them. So we gave Solomon the true appreciation of it. To each one of them we gave wisdom and knowledge. And we had subjected the mountains and the birds who celebrated our glory along with David. That is what we always do. And we taught him the art of making coats of mail for you people, that they designed to fortify you against one another's violence in your wars. Will you then be grateful? And we subjected to Solomon the violent wind. It blew according to his commandments towards the land of Canaan, which we had blessed and we have knowledge of all things. And we subjected to him some of the expert deep divers who dived for him and did other sundry works besides that, and it was we who kept watch over them. And we showed our favors to Job. Behold, he called out to his Lord, I am afflicted with some distress. And you are the most merciful of all who show mercy? So we heard his prayer, and removed the affliction which he had, and we restored his family to him, and as many more followers with them by way of mercy from ourselves. This event serves as a reminder for our devotees. And we showed our favors to Ismail, Idris, or Enoch, Dhul Kifl, or Ezekiel, possessed of abundant portion, all of them were of the patiently persevering people. And we admitted them to our mercy. They were of the righteous indeed. And we showed our favors to Dhul Nun, Jonah. Behold, he left in anger his people for the sake of God. He was sure in his mind that we would not cause him any distress. But when we did, he cried out in the midst of afflictions, There is no other God but you. Holy are you. I have indeed been of those hard-pressed with difficulties and distress. So we heard his prayer, and we delivered him from grief. And in this way do we deliver the true believers. And we showed our favors to Zachariah. Behold, he called out to his Lord and prayed to him, My Lord, do not leave me solitary, alone and airless. You are the best of those who remain after. You alone are the everlasting God. So we heard his prayer and granted him a son, John, and cured his wife of sterility making her fit for bearing children for him. They used to vie one with another in doing good deeds and call upon us with mixed feelings of hope and fear, and they were humble before us. And we showed our favors to the woman, Mary, who preserved her chastity. So we revealed to her some of our words, and we made her and her son Jesus a sign of eminence for the nations. People. 
Surely this your religion is the one single religion of all the prophets. And I am your Lord, so worship me. But they, the latter generations, split up their affair of religion among themselves, and became divided into factions, and all will return to us. So whoever does deeds of righteousness, and is a believer, will find there is no disapproval of his endeavors, and his strivings are not lost, and surely we are recorders of his virtues for him. And it is not permissible to the people of a township whom we have destroyed to come back to life of this world. This inviolable law will remain in force, even when the great powers like Gog and Magog are let loose and come crashing down from every height and from the crest of every wave, and when they occupy every point of vantage, dominating the whole world, and when they excel all other nations. And when the time of the fulfillment of the true promise about the destruction of the forces of falsehood and materialism as represented by Gog and Magog draws near, behold, the eyes of those who do not believe in the triumph of truth will be transfixed, and they will exclaim, Ah, woe to us! We were really forgetful of this day. Nay, we were, of course, unjust. It will be said to them, Surely you and the things which you worship apart from Allah are, of course, fuel of Jehenna, where you shall enter. Had these things been true gods as you claim to be, they would not have come to it. But as it is, they shall all enter it and abide in it for long. Groaning shall be their lot therein, and they will not hear in it anything else. But those to whom we have already promised a most fair treatment from us shall be kept far removed from it. Not to speak of entering it, they will not hear the faintest sound of it, and they shall be abiding in the midst of all the blessings which their souls desire. The great terror of the judgment day will cause them no grief, and the angels will receive them with the greetings, This is your day which you were promised. This is the day when we shall roll up the heavens like the rolling up of the written scrolls by a scribe. Just as we started the process of the first creation, so shall we reproduce it. This is a promise binding on us. We shall certainly bring it about. We have already stated in the Zabur, the Psalms, the Book of David, after stating it in the reminder, Torah, that my servants with right capacity to rule shall inherit the land. Verily, in this Qur'an is an important message for a people who worship us. And we did not send you, O Muhammad, but as a blessing and mercy for all beings. Say, indeed it has been revealed to me that your God is but one God. Will you then be the ones who submit to him? But if they still turn back, say, I have given you clear warning in all fairness. I do not know, however, whether that threat held out to you will be fulfilled in the near or distant future. Verily, he knows the words you speak openly, and he knows the thoughts which you hide. And I do not know whether it, the respite referred to above, is meant to put you on trial, or it may be affording you a worldly provision for a short while. The prophet praying to his Lord said, My Lord, judge with truth. Our Lord is the most gracious, whose help is ever to be sought against what you, O disbelievers, ascribe to him.